Buses and you know, obviously there's a lot of staging that's happening and taking place right now. Buses are being moved to the Alario Center and some of the areas around there in Jefferson Parish just in case there needs to be a contingency plan, whether there's a wrinkle in the evacuation orders, uh, whether other people need to be moved for special needs as well. So there's a massive staging presence right now in Jefferson Parish yeah. as well at Zephyr Field in Metairie. Right, I was just going to say at Zephyr Field, and the mayor had said earlier there will be no shelters of last resort in Orleans Parish, so they are bringing in those buses. Uh, so that ultimately, if people um, are rescued, they will be placed on those buses and then bus to one of the uh, state designated shelters. Yeah, the and at mega this shelters. point, right, right now we're only aware of one, and that would be in Alexandria, but that is the reason they are st uh, staging those buses there. Those will be for water rescues post landfall. Yeah, and I, and I mentioned the Alario Center. I was confusing that with the staging area for the National Guard Correct. because the National Guard is being mobilized by this afternoon. I'd imagine that at this hour, uh, the state of Louisiana has mobilized more than 3,000 National Guard troops. They'll be in place in and around the affected areas, and they're going to be looking at the, the ways that they can kind of mobilize. But 1,100 of those will be in the metro area. Most of them here uh, in New Orleans, 600 of them will be deployed alongside the NOPD within the districts to kind of help secure and kind of manage the areas as we're predicting and, and taking a look at this landfall. And the rest headed out a little bit west where we expect landfall sure. in the Morgan City Lafayette area.